Time for a long overdue dagger video. A revisit of Protech's first fixed blade collaboration with Walter Brandt, the Elite Combat Dagger. Protech Knives is a California based family run production company that specializes in high end automatic pocket knives, all made in the USA under guidance of President Dave Wattenberg since 1998. Walter Brandt, on the other hand, is an American senior custom knife maker from Tennessee who has been granted the gift of amazingly refined hand grind skill, which can be best seen in the mirror finish on some of its more luxurious and elegantly curved blades. The Elite Combat Dagger was the first fixed blade to be produced by Protec Knives and, as far as I know, their only production dagger thus far, which in itself makes it very unique. I don't remember when the Elite Combat Dagger first came out, but looking at my first purchase when it was introduced in Europe, it must have been somewhere around 2004-2005. Production had stopped when it actively started collecting in 2014. Let's look at the Combat Dagger's features first, then I'll dive into the history and finally list all of Ryan's known to me. The blade steel used was 154CM American Stainless. For more on the knife's dimensions, see the description below. Sheets for factory models came in two shapes, a plain black molly sheath with a fixed kydex insert and button retention strap, or a black molly sheath with empty secondary pouch, removable clear plastic insert and velcro retention strap. The 10 custom knives had a storage pouch with protective padding, no sheath. Looking at the design of the knife, the first thing you might notice is its sleek, almost toothpick-like design. For those who haven't held it, the balance in hand feels incredibly comfortable and fluid, yet secure. There's no full guard, but the full tang and scales flare out sideways enough to function as a thumb rest and prevent slippage. The blade itself has a true dagger grind, not flat on one side, but ground with two edges on both sides. Handle materials vary between different Micarta, G10 and wood setups and the blade finishes were either full satin, black tungsten diamond-like carbide or DLC coated, or duotone combinations of both. The limited custom models were hand mirror polished by Walter Brandt himself. At first glance, the handle scales are fixed with three pins with two Allen hat screws each. I remember taking them off on a European limited edition in order to polish the blade, but on other American market models I couldn't. The scales seemed to be stuck to the full tang. Later I had two daggers customized by Adams International Knife Works from Illinois, for which they had to remove the original handle scales on two DLC coated models. Their feedback tells us more about the handles and the DLC coatings. As told by Andrew from the workshop, the knife had two stationary pins about one quarter of an inch thick that would stick out on each side that would run through the knife in the handle area between the screw holes. The original handles had internal holes that would correspond and fit in place like a puzzle piece. I know they had them there for handle integrity purposes. They were a tight fit and we had to carefully pry and wedge them off with special tools without damaging the finish. No glue holding them on. Coating went beyond and ran underneath the handles. Later in this video, you will notice that the DLC coating varies per model. Some have a matte black finish with tactile texture, whereas others seem to have the satin blade finish permeate through a thinner coating. Dave Wattenberg from Protec was happy to explain the difference. The coating is the same. What is different is the finish under it. One of them has a satin and then coated combination. The other one was aluminium oxide blasted and then coated finish. The last details I'll add are on the original packaging. All non-custom daggers came in a white box with two stickers. The small white sticker states the variant, blade finish and handle material. The other larger sticker was either this green Protec factory sticker or this Made in USA sticker. You might now wonder how the collaboration and design itself came to be. Again, the president from Protec was happy to oblige. I had Brent hand grind some blades for a few models. He ground a few Godfather blades and it struck up a conversation about daggers. He made some comment about how many of them we have in our product line. We do have a lot. And I told him that I just love them. They have always been my favorite since I was a little boy through today and since I owned the company. There will probably always be a lot of them in the line. He said that he had a very nice dagger design that I should consider. He asked me what size and I told him to surprise me. He actually sketched out three sizes. We produced the middle size one and that was the Elite Combat Dagger. 
So, in fact, the Elite Combo Dagger was first designed in three sizes. They've told me around 2014-2015 that they not only played with the idea of restarting production, but also in all three sizes. Sadly, no such luck thus far. In the meantime, they did produce a different fixed blade of Walter Brent design, with his signature recurve shape. And what about the dagger's design? Walter Brent kindly shared the backstory with me. When he used to hunt in the swamps of Florida as a young teenager, I would kill wild hogs and use a dagger to bleed them out. My idea about this style of knife was to keep it small and compact, easy to carry. The internal guard handle keeps the weight down, with enough handle to keep your hand from going down the blade. In the early 80s, I made similar daggers with small short guards for special forces at Fort Bragg. Knowing how the knife came to be, let's look at the variants that were released. I'll use footage of my own collection and additional stock photos for other models. And that concludes my video on this awesome dagger. I hope that one day production will be continued. Until then, good hunting to all. Thank you.